Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see all about background styling of your website using CSS. In our last video, we have seen how to apply colors and background colors using different ways in CSS. Today, we are going to see how to apply background images in your CSS. If you remember, while we were learning HTML, we also applied background images in HTML by using attributes of your HTML tags. For example, we were having an attribute for body tag and that was background. And with the help of this attribute, we, we, uh, we can give background image to our web page. And how we used to give? We used to give something like this background equal to and the path of our image. So for example, I'm having my uh, image in the same folder where, where this file is being saved. So I will di directly give the path like this. And if I save it and if I go and run it, here we go, it, it will look something like this, right? So in HTML, there were some limitations. If you remember, I also explained to you during that time that the image keeps on repeating itself if the resolution of that image or the size of the image is small. So my size of the image is uh, something uh, very small and that's why it is not occupying the whole web page and it is keep it, it goes on repeating itself again and again when I apply as a background image using HTML to my web page, as you can see, right? So this was a limitation of HTML and we were not able to do anything when we used to apply a background image in HTML. So what we we have to do is in HTML, we have to bring a image or uh, take an image of a resolution, bigger resolution or bigger size so that it, it can apply and it can occupy the whole web page, right? But in case of CSS, it is not like that you are getting various options and various things, properties with the help of which you can avoid this thing and you can adjust your CSS according to you and you can style your web page according to you. How is it? We'll just quickly see. So I'll just remove this and I will apply my background image using CSS. I have already written my external CSS over here and given a link over here. And in my external CSS, I'm going to apply my background image. Usually background colors we can apply on element wise, right? Means maybe header, paragraph or body. But usually background images are always applied to the whole body. So we'll take the body element and inside that we'll write background image. So this is the syntax or this is a property which is used to apply background image in CSS. Colon uh okay and background my background image will be the same image which i have just shown you uh but here the syntax of writing is different you write url for giving background image and inside url you write your path okay so please do remember this thing okay when we are applying image right we simply write image and then we give source right when we are giving links like uh, for uh, pointing your external sheet or for hyperlinks, we used to write href. When we're giving background image, we are writing URL, right? So just uh, note down and remember this, uh, the syntaxes, okay? So my ima image is geometric.jpg and I'll just write it over here and I will save it here. And then I'll go and run it. Let's see what happens. Oh, no image, why? I guess uh, I've done some spelling mistake and now I go and run again. Yeah, here we go. So it has again, uh, what to say, landed up in the same way as it was before. Uh, we have seen in HTML by using HTML attribute background. So we can avoid this in CSS and how we can do is this is by using another property of background and that is background repeat. With the help of this background repeat, you can avoid the repetition of your image, which is of, a, of small size. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll simply write no repeat. And with the help of this, what will happen is my image will stop, stop repeating itself. Can you see? Now it has stopped repeating and it is on the same, uh, only one single image is there. Okay, and at the starting of the web page, right? Okay. Uh, this gives you number of options. Background repeat gives you number of uh, you know options to 
uh, to show you images to display your images for example uh, now i have given no repetitive for example if i give repeat on x axis so what happens it will just show the image repeatedly on x axis like this can you see and if i uh, want it on y axis it will show your image vertically on y axis something like this we've got another property with this and that is background position background position helps you to uh, to describe your position okay according to you where you want to display for example if i want it in center what i'll do is i'll write it center and save it and then run it here we go so my uh, images are loaded in center and it is also in y axis means it is getting repeated in y axis because i have written repeat y and then center right for example if i do here no repeat then let's see what happens no repeat means the, the image will not get repeated and there will be single image right so earlier we saw, we saw it was uh, it was getting displayed over here and now it is get it will get displayed in the center because we have applied background position as center right okay so now uh, since it is a background image i want my image to be to get up, occupied in the whole web page right on the whole web page it should get it should be visible not uh, on a corner on a, or on center i want it to be um, visible for the whole web page what i'm going to do is there is a very important property of uh, background and that is background size this particular property helps you to to you know to uh, take the your image to get, give your image a particular size on your web page for example if i write here auto now this auto what it will it will do it will give the size of the image what it was the actual size will get displayed on your web page if you see here we go so uh, there's no difference because the size of the actual size of the image is this only and it will get displayed as it is okay there is another value for this property and that is cover which is very important because this value will help your image to occupy the whole web page okay so let's see here we go so it now the image has occupied your whole web page right so now it looks more better so this is how we can we can overcome all the limitations which we were having in html by using background property background images property of css